Good morning, it's Nancy today. It's Monday morning, uh, the 22nd of April. It was minus 5 Celsius this morning. I don't know how you do minus 5. Minus 5 plus minus 5. Is that minus 10? No, it's plus 5. Minus 5 plus minus 5 is... Zero? Okay, so it's zero plus 32. So it's... But that's wrong. Because it's below 32 Celsius Fahrenheit. Anyway, so it was minus 5 Celsius, which is 5 degrees below freezing. However you want to figure that. Actually, it's probably half that, so it's probably 2 degrees. So it's probably 30 out. 30 Fahrenheit. But now it's warming up. It's now plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10 and 32. So it's about 42 now. So I was um, going somewhere and then I decided I didn't want to do that. Instead I have my violin, I have my laptop, I have my chair. And I thought, and I have my walking sticks, and I thought I'd like to just be out in the woods. And so I have found this little spot here. And I thought perhaps I could just spend a while here. You know, just plan to stay here for an hour for the day. Maybe not the whole day. It's going to get warmer, which is going to be very, very nice. I thought it would be nice to play my violin. I saw a, a blue jay over there. I'm right in the sun where I am, which is probably not the best spot, because then I can't, I don't get as good a look at things. Now, I could continue to explore. And look at those branches down there. Let's get out. Let's just do it. Now what is all this? Is somebody trying to build this up? Or I guess that's a tree. It's like a nice tree that I could put on my teepee. Mm -hmm. Looks like this ice on the water today. Somebody said that the, when the frogs were calling, spring peeper stuff, that when they were doing that and the geese flew over, all the frogs stopped. Oh, I see what's happened here. The township has come along and cut all the brush. Oh, low branches. Imagine snow. more water back there. And there's water all through there. It's interesting to spend a few minutes and observe something.
Let's see if the ice holds us some pebbles. I'm going to turn you off. Goodbye. Isn't this beautiful? Look at where I am. I've never been down this road before. It's very secluded here, isn't it? I think this is a beaver, beaver area. There's also ducks over there. I think there's a few frogs here. I'm gonna go exploring a little bit. Bye. Well, this is where I've been. I've been sitting, I had my roller chair down there, and my violin, and my laptop. I wrote in my journal for a while, and then I played many songs on my violin. Just trying to see if the um, frogs would, would cry, you know, if I, or cheep, or whatever they do, if I made violin music. Ooh, but no, I guess not. Anyway, so I'm going to save this place as Violin Marsh. I guess you probably can't see the marshiness of it here, but it's a beautiful spot. I've had a very nice time. See, I'll show you again. There is no intersection. I looked for nearest intersection. This is what it looks like where I am. Can you see it at all? Well, anyway, so it looks like way down a little road that doesn't go anywhere except through the woods. And we'll be able to use it. And and manuals. All right, and I just wanted to document that I was here. I didn't make any videos while I was here. Okay, goodbye. Hi, it's me, Nancy, today, new hat. Well, I fell asleep. I was asleep for two hours in the house. I think I really needed it. I fell the other day, and I got hurt. I broke my head in my knee, wounded my arm and my shoulder. I'm trying to video this bird. Oops. It's... Go see, oh there it is, right there. Okay, he's right in the crook of that. There he goes. Now he's up there. And now he's over there. I'm trying to film him. He's gone again. He's somewhere. Oh, there he is. So, which tree is that? Now he's over there. He's way out there. Oh, 
was down there. And he's gone. He's dropped down somewhere. Oh, there he is again. This is what I spend my time doing. Important things like this while I lie in my hammock. So this morning, let me tell you what I did. I went out. I was not sure, but I had a concussion and I had this pain in my back and I thought, oh man, I should just go get checked out. Maybe I've got something wrong. Maybe, you know, I have these friends, three friends that have had triple bypass surgery. I thought, what if something's wrong? Like, I don't have any bad chest pain or anything. I'm just very weak or very tired. Of course, I've been doing a lot, right? I thought, oh, well, I'll go to the clinic and I'll see if they could tell me if I have a I'll see if they could tell me if I have a concussion. And of course they probably can't. They probably send me to the hospital. And if I had, like, in order to find out if I have anything wrong with my with my heart, you really need an angiogram. And so if I go to the local hospital, they would have to put me on a list to see about getting an angiogram, but only if they thought I needed it. So the thing to do then would be to go to the Ottawa Heart Institute and just go in there and find out. But then I have to park, and parking it gets real expensive in Ottawa. And the best way to do something like that would be to go in with Willem and have him drop me off. <sighs> so anyway, so I drove, I drove part way there, and I thought this is stupid. Forget this. So I turned around, went to the went to the gas station, and got myself some Reese's cups. I've been taking some energy drink lately because I just had no energy and I would go out driving and I needed to do stuff for the day and I just had no energy. And I don't use that stuff at home to do things. I just needed to... Anyway, I knit three of them at different times and they didn't work. That's so strange that they didn't work. I was still hopelessly without energy so I thought, well maybe I have something wrong. That's why I thought I had something wrong. So I got some chocolate bars. I thought, ah, that'll help me. I can jump start myself with chocolate. And so I had these chocolate bars and then I thought I wanted to, I had my violin and I had my my wheelie chair and my laptop and I wanted to drive somewhere into the woods and sit by a marsh and play my violin and make movies. Listen to nature. So I did. I went on this road that I'd never been on before. I didn't even know the road was there. It doesn't show re really show up, but a friend of mine said they lived on a road that was right there next to something. And so I turned down there and I forgot about looking for her house. Of course, how can you tell what house would be hers anyway? But since, of course, I forgot what her name is. <laughs> Anyway, so I drove down that road, and it got pretty narrow and wild. And then I, I found a really pretty spot, and I pulled off the side of the road, and I took a picture, went for a little walk, took some more pictures. I just uploaded them to Facebook. Nancy Today, T-O-D-A-A-Y, on Facebook. And then I, and by the way, I don't friend men. So if you're a man, forget it. Um... So I, um, I thought, well, I'll go further because it was, there was thick snow there on the side of the, on the side of the water, and there was, uh, there had been a bunch of branches that had been cut. One of those trimming machines, I think, had been through to trim the stuff encroaching on the road. So it was pretty cold with the snow, the wind coming across that snow. So I went further down the road and I found another spot and I walked off into the woods a little bit to look over the hill. And then I came back. And then I drove some more. I found another place, another very pretty place. 
I sat there with my window down for a while and looked at it. And then I came to another place, which was really a snowmobile road. I had abandoned that road and got back on the regular roads and I was coming home. And then I saw this, this little snowmobile road, so I turned down that. And I came down to a very narrow spot and marsh on both sides of the road. So I parked at the top of the hill. <sighs> and I walked down there with my my wheelie chair and my uh, my violin and my laptop. And I sat down there. I put it sort of in a spot where my feet would be up a few inches higher than the wheels of my chair so I could prop my legs up. And I rode on my laptop for a minute. Not very long. And then I played my violin. I really want to play songs about what I'm seeing, about the nature. But I have a hard time remembering songs about the nature. You know, like looking into the water. And I didn't want to just play children's songs about five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. I felt like singing something more beautiful like Shenandoah, which I did play. And then I kind of got into playing My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean and uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm impressed with how well this is going. Trying to learn to play by ear, it was impossible. Absolutely impossible. There's no way I could not tell if one that was higher than the next or lower. And I just had to, to try. I said, I knew this, is, this note sounds good, so I'll start here. And then sometimes I could tell it was up, but I couldn't tell how far up, and so I, I'd do the next note, no, that was it. I'd do the next note, no, that was it. A few more notes, ah, there it is. And so I could, if I could remember what the first note was then, I could put two of them together. And I just did that, and I built songs. I, one note at a time, until I started getting so I could tell when it, which string it was on. There are certain notes, like when you sing, you go up so far and then you have to change your voice, goes into falsetto. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So A is my falsetto. C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So those A, B, C, that's on the second to the top string. And if it goes really high, like my body lies over the ocean, but it might be on the top string. But I don't think that is. It depends where you start. Oh, here's that bird again. No, wait, that's my chickadee. I mean, I'm not going to film my chickadee. Here he is. He has just arrived. Okay, see ya. You want to see my spot? This is my spot. See, I have it all set up. I have my walker. And I have the little basket for my feet. I have my violin. Of course, my poles for going for a walk. These. And I just found a whole bunch of birch bark. There are many birch trees in here that have fallen down where the birch bark is laying on the ground. I can make birch bark baskets with them. Yay! So, this is where I shall be if you need me. Here I am, feet up on my basket. This is a perfect chair, you know, the, the sight height of this bar here. It's just perfect for a backrest. I hear a robin. I just saw a duck fly up off the pond here. The little marsh. So I thought I would sit here and finish my basket first. I started this at Mira last Thursday. Can't do it with one hand though. I did have my little iPod holder here though somewhere.
I have a few more rings to go. You see, you don't have to own everything. You don't have to own all your places to go sit. In fact, it's nice if you don't because you can go to different ones. As long as you've got a wilderness. I just love marshes. Not everybody else loves marshes, but because it's a marsh, there's so much wildlife in it. And I like watching the wildlife and listening to the birds and discovering them. Anyway, enjoy your day. Bye. Let's get some birch bark. Most of it is broken on the bottom. It gets rotten on the bottom and it rips. I mean, it doesn't rip it, decays. See how that part is it's on the underside where it's broken. Some is broken on the top. That looks like some very loose stuff in that one. A little piece. Good morning. And how are you this morning? <coughs> My face looks very red against this white comforter and pillow. Well, it's morning. Here we are again, another day. Hi, Ma well, I'm making a video. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you leaving now? Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Mm, love you. Too. He heard me videoing. So, um, feels good to smile. 
I was feeling very blah. Mm. And I thought, oh, I'll make a video. And I thought, oh, I'm too depressing. I won't make a video. But then I'm making a video and it makes me smile. This is what I'm missing. I should have made more videos lately. Would have been happy. Happy, happy, happy. So, today is a new day. I guess you got that already. Yep. It always is. You can't do a day over again unless you're on Groundhog Day. Which I like a lot. Where should we put that for ultimate effect? There, we could put it over there. That could be by handle. There. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so, look at this day. Would you like to see the day today? It's one of those days that does not require you to go outside. Sometimes it's a little difficult to keep up with the sunshine. The sunshine oh, had, to, had to yawn. The sunshine beckons. When it's a sunny day, I have to go out and enjoy it. But if it's a lousy day, or a not sunny day, it's never a lousy day, of course. Hey, what's on the bottom of that? When it's a not sunny day, then I don't have to go out. Well, I discovered something. Um, doing my yoga gave me tons of energy. And then I stopped doing it. And I have had no energy since. So, it was not the salad. Nor the walks. It was the yoga. So I have to do my yoga again. I've been going through a flare lately, which is actually just, um, I eat chocolate, a lot of chocolate, and it wrecked me. So, no more chocolate, and, but I have been enjoying immensely finding places that have marshes around here. It's amazing how many, how many places there are that I could go um, and have back roads. You know, I just live in a world of back roads here. Which is kind of neat. We don't live on a back road. We live on a highway, as you've seen. But there are many back roads that I can go to and, and uh, enjoy. Finding a place. I just park my car in the middle of the road. Get out my chair. Get out my violin. Yesterday I worked on a basket. It was good. Mm. But I think it's supposed to rain all day today. Oh, my stuff is a mess out in the yard. You know, I took apart my, my teepee. And of course you have to put things somewhere because they have to be used later. What day is this anyway? Tuesday? Wednesday? It's not Thursday. It was yesterday Monday? It might have been Monday yesterday. And so today would be Tuesday. 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 Um, well, what have I got to say? Boy, my hair is really looking like something else. <laughs> So I'm going to be happy today. I've decided and made the decision. Yeah, I'm going to be happy today. I've been going through a little bit of jealousy lately. Everybody else has flowers and the flowers are over. I'm trying to keep up with all the flowers that come. and I brought in some, what are they called? Forsythias and forced them and they're blooming. I, try, I cut some forsythias the other day and thought I would take them around and stick them in the ground and make them grow. And it turned out that that didn't work because the ground was frozen. It was open about an inch. I could stick them in about an inch, but then it was frozen. Even the sandy areas was all as solid as a rock. So I brought them inside and forced them. And now there are all these little yellow flowers on them. And that's the closest I've got to flowers. 
The snow has gone off the pond. Frogs have not started to sing. We're just a little too far north. If you go a half an hour south, then that's where I filmed all the frogs singing away. Singing, singing, singing. Oh, I found a good song for singing about nature. You know, I'm always sitting there looking at the nature go by and the, the water booming and thinking, oh, I wish I had a song that I could sing that was about all this nature. And I did. Oh, how lovely was the morning. Oh, how lovely was the morning. Radiant beat in the sun above. Birds were singing sweet. No. Yeah, birds were singing sweet. Something ringing. No, birds. Bees were humming. Bees. Bees were humming. Sweet birds singing. Music ringing through the grove. See, that's a lot of nature. So I've been trying to play that on my violin. And I'm getting better. I like playing my violin. It's fun to play it outside. It's very peaceful. It's relaxing. It's a whole lot louder than the nature, though, so it scares everything to death. But after a while, the birds started to sing. When I was playing that for a while, <sighs> I spared you my yawn. Ooh, that's sweet of me. So, the sun was very bright about an hour ago. And I thought, I'm not going to be bothered with sunshine and getting up. I'm going to back to sleep. I fell the other day. See where I bumped my head? Da -dub, da -dub, da -dub. Not very indicative of anything except that it... I think I... I don't think I had a concussion. I looked up at, in the... On the internet at concussion. Boy, I don't look like I really want to look yet. Oh, well, we're not going to think about that, are we? We'll just... There. Um, so I looked up on the Internet, and the, the details about concussions, I didn't have one. Except I was a bit ditzy. But that could just be normal. I am always a bit ditzy. Ditzy and me is the same thing. So, um, but I have been very tired lately, which I think is why I ate chocolate. Yeah, I took, I did some five-hour energy drinks that have no grouch, and they made no effect whatever on me. How's that for strange? They usually pep me right up. Oh, they didn't work at all. And I don't know if that's because of my fall. I have this big, my knee is all scraped up. But other than that, I'm normal. I'm always normal. So, um, I was, I've been lying out there in the hammock out there. Can you see the hammock out there? Or was that just my finger you saw? There. You can see the pond from here. I'll show you. Well, it's down there. It's under the hammock. If you see the hammock, it's under the hammock. And I thought that I could remove a couple of the trees, and then we would have a view of the pond from up here. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Perfect, perfect. All right, well, I've talked to you for long enough, so I have no ideas about what I'm going to do today, except, oh, it looks very smoky outside. I think Willem must have lit me the fire. I've been working on my genealogy, plugging it in. Our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, has many records. And when I work on the pedigree line, and I find someone that's not there, and I go to Adam, lo and behold, they're somewhere, and I can add them in. And some are not even on there. And I'm adding them in. So I guess I'm doing a good thing. Using my time wisely. 
I'm doing that and I'm hanging out outside and appreciating stuff. It's been a little too cold to go hang out by the pond much. Nothing much is happening by the pond, but you know those berms on three sides of it? They're like walls for the pond, so the pond is way wider than it used to be. It's way up over its banks on one side. Okay, well that's it. I think you've heard enough for today. Goodbye. Push the button, push the button. There it goes. Push. Me here, Nancy today, yet again. Just like yesterday, I'm here again. Well, yesterday Joanne came and helped me load my kiln. She helped me make these little things and put on my wood stove to dry out. And then um, we loaded it up, but it wouldn't turn on. Imagine that. There's something amiss with the kiln sitter. I don't know much about any of this stuff, but I'm learning by my mistakes. I learn by lots of mistakes. They're expensive sometimes. So, the kiln setter has a, a thing in there inside, so it is down where it's supposed to be. And this is pushed, but this is too short. It won't stay on. But... The kiln is on. I have it set. See? I got them on. I, I built this whole rigmarole with the... that. It's starting to get a little bit warm. I have it open a bit. Oh, it is getting warm, yes. So I have it a little bit open so that it will dry everything out. Some of my shelves were kind of damp, so I'm going to let it, um, got it on low, and I'll keep it on low for quite a while. Let's see if I can see in there. Nope, it's dark in there. So, um, I better write down when I turned it on. That's kind of important, because otherwise I'll forget. So it's 7.41. I turned it on at 7. So I'll call Joanne and ask her what time I should close up my, close the lid so it's, till, so it's dried. Of course, it's during the daytime, which is the highest price of the stupid hydro. They've changed everything to make it as expensive for everybody as possible. So you have to stay up after 7 and do your... All your stuff between seven and seven. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so that's the pottery scoop. Bye. Well, the kiln is still on. It's working. It's open a little bit, but I can smell. I can smell the, um, you know, the heating elements in there. I can feel a bit of heat in there. Okay, all is well. Hello, it's Nancy today. Well, I've been down here. I've been sitting over there on the bridge. Wait a minute, you can't see the bridge. You're looking at me. Okay, the bridge is over there. And I have my wheelie thing. And my violin. And I've been having a lovely time playing it. Look how beautiful it is here at the stream today. Just been lovely. So, on my way back up to the house. Look at those clouds. Aren't they lovely too? There was a bird up here. I think a bird is in the pile of woodpeckers hole. The wonderful thing about this wheelie chair 
is that I can, when I can't really make, when I can't really make myself go for a walk, when I'm in pain or something, this works well for me. And I can play out here and have a good time. Otherwise, I would be stuck at the house when my hip hurts. I was able to do a lot of work outside today. I'll get you down there. Yeah. A little bumpy for you. Well, I guess I'll let you go. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I think my kiln is ready. This is the hole wherein you see it. And when I blow through it with my head there, Did you see that? I think it's done. It's bent over. So I shall turn it off. Off. Now the kiln sitter has not gone off yet. But I believe the kiln is off. Let me turn the dial down. There, now it's off. But the kiln sitter still didn't go off yet because it's an 05 in the kiln sitter and an 06 in here. That was cool. You know, I've been watching this change. It's been, it's been like this. And I wasn't sure how much I was going to see how, if it was going to melt at the bottom here where I could see it too, or if it was just going to be at the top. And I looked at my little box here, and it shows these three pictures. And so you're supposed to put one that will melt at a lower temperature the right temperature and the hotter temperature. And so that middle one is what it looks like, isn't it? We've turned it off. I'm going to try this again and look. Okay, I hope you saw that. Yeah, I can even see it without looking at anything anymore. That blowing on it. Cool, eh? It did it. I fired the kiln properly. Yes! Woohoo! That's so cool. <sighs> okay, see you later. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna check my kiln. <coughs> Now it's freezing outside. It's quite warm on the top. It's quite hot inside. Now she said that I should open the lid a little bit. And let it cool like that. said to take a piece of paper and put it inside. And if it starts to smoke, dried the paper out.
I also have to open both holes now. So it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I turned it off at 5 o'clock last night. said when you put your hand in, <clears throat> it's definitely hot there. Okay. So I'll leave it like that. Hope that's the right thing to do. Okay, bye-bye. Good morning. It's time to play the violin. Wanna Good morning. That? See the picture? Oh, yeah, nice. So you can look at, watch your finger doesn't cover the camera. Right. It's freezing out, just zero. And it'll probably go up to what, 15 or 12 or 10 or something? Side of the pole. Oh yeah, see so you can pull with them. Like right? the camera it's... won't get them; it's too far for it. Okay. I hear there's a little zoomy lens you can get for the iPod. Huh. Okay. Yeah, is there other side you can see?
been practicing it for you, Willem. Thank you, dear. You like it? Yeah. Hi. Well, I did it. I'm down here at the teepee. This is my first walk here for a long, long time. My back has been very bad. My SI joint and hip. And so I have not done it. And today I parked at the bottom of the hill. I went for a walk. And by the time I was getting here, I really needed to sit. And so I'm very glad the teepee is here. And it's the wilderness, too. There's many new things happening down here. For instance, the beavers have built a dam over there somewhere, which has backed up all this, and so this is now ice in the teepee. And all the way along over to the stream is ice, but you can be sure that the stream is going to be not safe to walk across. It's the wilderness right alongside the highway. How cool is that? I used my, my, whatever these canes are, to do this. To go for this little walk. This little jaunt. This, one, this is not on there. Probably there we go. It's better. Okay, let's see if we can lie down here now. Okay, here we are. We're doing it. We're lying down on the hammock in the teepee. Sedge Meadow teepee. This teepee was once my little store for a day or two. This is the scene of the fire. The great fire of, what was that, 2009? Get the snow blowing around up there. Going off the top of the teepee. I like this camera because it zooms. You want to zoom somewhere? Let's see what we can zoom in on. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's doing the blinding thing again. Let's see what we can zoom in on. Zoom in on the top of that tree. Uh, 70x optical zoom. That's why I love this camera. But it's not as clear as it used to be. It's been dropped too many times. Hey, the date stamp is on here, February 6, 2013. Is it on your side when you see it? <clears throat> oh. This used to be my shadow maker. It's kind of falling down. It needs to be taken apart, I think. So I can see the view. The view, the view, the view. There's nothing as good as the view. The view, the view, the view. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate that. I used to have a, a chair over, a hammock over here. And my chair beside it. And on the chair, it was a container, a jar, that had my, I had my journal and my scriptures a pen, and I had matches, a box of matches. <clears throat> but those things are gone. Then I used to carry matches in my coat, too. 
That was my way of dealing with if I ever got stranded anywhere and got hurt. I'd have matches so I could use what was around me and make a little fire and warm up. Nothing happening out there. Nothing at all. Except the wind is blowing. What's that in a tree way over there? Oh, look how blinding it is for you. Okay, it's down by the base of that tree, but it's way in the distance. Okay, you're going to have to zoom. You have to get yourself together now. It's up there by my house. Let's see now. It's very, very distant stuff beside this tree. Where's this tree? Okay, I might be looking at close stuff. Hey, what's that? Is that a, a nest in the tree? See, it's trying to focus on that thing in front of it. Oh, I could focus it if I get... Uh, oh, there it is. That's the thing I was looking for in the far distance. I guess it focuses after a while. But if you get the white stuff in it, it doesn't focus so well. There's nothing nicer than wearing a skirt and a long coat. The coat comes down to the top of my boots, which come up to my knees. And the best thing about a parka is that when the wind blows past your face, when the wind blows past your face, it can't get in. Well, it helps when your hat is doing the right thing, too. See, and then when the wind blows past, it won't get you because you're down in the tunnel. Tunnel vision, that's what tunnel vision is. And these are awesome mittens that Kathy made. And so I didn't have any mittens, so I bought them from her. She made them from wool coats, but they get in the way here. They don't. I don't go under properly. There, that's better. Okay. I gotta get this one in there. It's nice to be in here. Oh, nice that you could be here with me. Hey, wait a minute. You zoomed. What you zooming for? <coughs> see, I can look into your eyes and see when you get that distant look in your eyes. I know you pretty well. I do. There's so many of you that think that you're very much like me, and I think that's so cool. How cool is it to meet people like you? But I don't have any people like me right around me. We're all spread out. It's interesting. If all the people that were like each other could live in the same areas, wouldn't we have fun? No more being at home alone. We 
We would play. Last night, Willem and I were playing with the wood stove. He had, um, he opened it up and there was, when I eat popcorn, I take the shucks and I put them on the floor by the wood stove. And so he was putting wood in and he was throwing in the, the unpopped pieces that had, were on the floor now. And so they were popping inside. He says, look at that, it popped. And so I had to, we had to have fun. I, Im I imagined throwing popcorn into the wood stove and having it all pop and fill the whole wood stove with popcorn. Wouldn't that be fun? I think you could probably do that <coughs> when it's just coals. But there was fire in there, so as they popped, they burned. That's kind of an interesting way to create uh, tin kindling. When you have a bit of heat, Cars are going pretty slow today. Anyway, it didn't really work. We threw in a half a cup and it all just popped. It all popped and burned. Pop, burn, pop, burn, pop, burn. I'll try it when I go home and there's only coals in the fire. I'll try it again. I like making movies with my little iPod. I really like my iPod. It's not a camera. I mean, it's not a, a phone. So, so I don't have to be pay any monthly anything. I just paid my $200 and it's mine. And it connects to the internet when it's wireless. So it connects to the internet whenever I'm near the internet. So I can make instant little videos and upload them. And they take almost no time to upload. It's awesome. These other videos take so long. Oh my gosh. With my blue camera, when I make a video and upload it, it'll be hundreds of minutes, like 350 minutes to upload something. Of course, that was a gig. That was probably a pretty long video. That was the one I uploaded yesterday. My yesterday, not yours. It'll be a month ago for you. Way back in the past. But, you know, the more I use this little um, iPod and update and and instantly upload the videos, the more, um, the less, the smaller the queue line is. Because the queue line, I'm uploading as fast as I can on there. But they all take so long that I can only upload so many at a time. But this other little thing, it doesn't seem to slow down the queue. It slow down the uploading going on on my laptop. It's independent and it goes in a few minutes, five minutes or something. Of course, I can't do big, huge files that are a gig long either, but that's okay. You don't need that. So I thought um, it's possible that in time the queue line will be very small as I use the iPod more and more. And one day the two will come together, the queue line, which is months behind the other one. I'm I'm uploading, let's see, today is... I have no idea what month we're in. February. February the 4th. The 6th. February the 6th. I get to go to the temple on Friday. I would love that. Going to the temple every Friday. I drop Willem off at work in Ottawa. And I'm halfway there. And so I take off and I go on up to Montreal and go to the temple. It's so cool. But the gas costs a lot. It cost me $50 to do it last week. So I have to drive slower. If I can drive slower and then it'll take, it'll do better. But then if I drive slower, I might not get there in time for the first session. There's only two sessions on Friday that I can go to. So, what was I telling you about? Oh, yes, the queue line. So, today is um, February the 6th. And it's so nice to be home. Oh, it's so nice to be here have my freedom to lie in the hammock if I want, if I darn well want to. That's so awesome. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? It's February the 6th. This is the third or fourth time I'm telling you that. Oh yes, and I am uploading today from October the 24th. November, December, January. Three months ago is the queue line. 
That's a long time. So that's one reason I wanted to use my RED camera more, because these videos on the RED camera don't seem to take so long to upload. YouTube has this thing where you can give feedback on any page. You click on the little down at the bottom on the right, this little feedback corner, and then you can highlight the part of the screen that is a problem. Like, it tells me that it um, to use the original resolution, this resolution is da da la la and if I use the original resolution of da da la la then it will upload faster. But I haven't changed the resolution at all. So, and it used to do it. It used to do it much better. So, I'll highlight that, that blue area on the upload page where it says that. And I'll submit it, telling them that... Put a smile at the end. And then I'll push the next button. That's a good idea. I like that. You know, I was complaining yesterday on the feedback button about something or other. Oh, what was it about? And immediately it was fixed. Oh yes, I know. On the on the video on the inbox video responses page, when you click on select all to select all the videos that you've used for video responses, select all and then submit it the there comes up this black black um, little box that is right over the button you have to push and so I feedback them and I highlighted it and immediately it was gone isn't that cool they fixed it they must have computerized fixing it things I think that's awesome well, you know what? I guess if I keep talking, this will take forever to upload, too. I wonder how long I've been talking to you. We could check. Here, I'll look in the middle and see what it says. It says 14 hours, 19 minutes. I think that's how much is left. Oh, this is 17 minutes long. 17 minutes. Okay, I'll let you go. I'll just make another one. Ha, ha, ha. Goodbye. Good morning. It's Nancy today. It's really lovely to be able to sit here, my feet up on the cement wall of the bridge. There's so many birds that have come back, so many of the warblers. This is the 3rd of May, I guess. The leaves are just still coming out, but they're becoming sort of you can see them from a distance you can see nothing here because it's all pretty dead stuff here other than the um, other than the conifers but I don't know if you can see it but if you look back in there and there's a bit of green I wonder if I touch it there if you could see it there did that help a bit there now you can see that back there. Oh, but my hand goes in the picture. That darkens it. Anyway, it's very nice to be here. I'm very blessed to have this. Just so blessed. I don't have a place to walk in the woods. But this road is pretty good with my wheelie chair. I can certainly get around. I couldn't get around without it. Well, I could. But the problem was, is I might get stuck. I might get part way, and then, oh, look at the dust kicked up by this truck as he goes by. I guess it's where I, where I swept yesterday is where the dust was. Anyway, I'm getting some of my older videos uploaded, the ones from February. And I'm trying to combine them and make long videos so that I'll have less videos. I'm trying. These little updates are pretty um, short. 
because I run out of things to say. And it's just an update anyway. I was going to tell you that today, my great big plan, is um, to work on the greenhouse, to, to get rid of a lot of the junk. Maybe also the pile of wood beside the greenhouse. It was a great place to put it, but it's so deep that I can't find anything in it. So it's really not very useful to me. So I guess I'll just get rid of it. I'll just load up this trailer or I'll get Abraham to load up the trailer and take it away. Yes, indeed. The black flies may be pretty bad today, but not now. It's only 10 Celsius or 12 or 14 Celsius right now, and it's damp, but it's um, it's going to be it's going to be a nice day, I think. There's blue sky over there in the west. We've had pretty good run of not having too many black flies for the past couple of days. So I don't think our luck is going to hold with that. I think they're hatching. You know, you could look at the water. And you see these little the little dots, like rain on the water. And those are the bouncing um, black flies, which are maybe not bouncing, but actually emerging, each one. So we will have quite the clouds soon. Which is what the warblers need. The warblers need a lot of food to eat. They come up here, and there's not a lot of bugs out yet. But as soon as they get here, the bugs hatch. And then they can go on about their happy lives. Anyway, I have nothing wise to tell you. This is Nancy today, at, coming to you from the Situation Room at the bridge. Nature is so awesome. It's just so awesome. If you tune into nature, it just makes you feel good. Even if you're just in the woods, you just go in the woods and I wish I could get in the woods. You just go in the woods and you just feel good. Maybe I'll bring some of that wood down here and I'll use it to make my bridge a bit better. I could do that. I had a hard time building that bridge. Oh look, here comes a bubble. Oh, it popped. The big bubbles are big today. See, as the bubbles come down the stream, they get lots of little bubbles, or other bubbles, other big bubbles bump into them. And they combine. The air goes into one. One of the bubbles becomes a tiny little bubble. And so you end up with these bubbles that have that are spinning around with all these little circles beside them. I'll have to use my other camera to show you that properly. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, it's Nancy today. I have on my hat. You know why I have on my hat? Because I have on a dress and the hat goes with it. I was looking for a different hat, but I don't see it. But this kind is pretty good. This is a cloth gotten all floppy. The other kind is so floppy I can't wear them. Anyway, it occurred to me about my soap making that perhaps I found a piece of soap. I was in the sunroom doing something and I have soap on the shelves up there and I have a piece and I pulled it down and I thought this is an awesome kind of soap and it was I might have used um, goat's milk and oatmeal and honey. Those ingredients, I think, make a really good bar of soap. I'm not sure exactly. I'm, I'm beginning to think that um, if I use tap water, it's possible that I have used tap water in some of my more recent soap. And I think that has, that makes the, the soap does not um, work properly. It's too hard. You need soft water. And so, so um, rainwater is very soft. So you need rainwater to make good soap. Or goat's milk. I used goat's milk for a long time. I bought a few, get a few 
five gallon pails of goat's milk from a friend. And then I used um, I used that. And it didn't it took me a long time to use it up. But it it worked really well. And I think that's when I was adding the oatmeal and the honey. That was good. So perhaps that's what I should do again. Are those my brakes? Is that sound coming from me? Imagine. So it's a sunny day. It is 24 degrees today, just like yesterday. Sorry. Which is, um, I don't know what that is, 70 something. 24, 24 is 48 plus 32, 672. It's not 80. 80 is too high. It's about um, maybe 76 or something, 75. It's hot for us, very hot. It's wonderful. We love it. So I've been harvesting cedar bark. I have a basket full of it. So in the car back there somewhere? I think so. I haven't been able to harvest a lot until now. Now is black fly season, but they're not really, they're not out in full force. When they are out in full force, then indeed it will be um, hard to harvest it. I'm getting it off of the trees that have just been cut. That's the, those are the best trees to get it from. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can go and get some more. Abe is asleep. He's going to help me work on the loading up the trailer. He doesn't really want to do it today. But tomorrow's dump day, so it would be really good if we got it done today. Okay, well, this is Nancy today coming to you from the Situation Room once again. In Canada, these fingers are so dirty because that's what you get from the bark of the, um, the cedar bark is all that sap and it sticks to your fingers and then dirt sticks to it. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. What a beautiful place this is. I'm sitting by the roadside between our house and somewhere. Anyway, so I'm um, watching the way the water the sparkle is on the water. Sometimes the sparkles are way up at the top and sometimes they're an area further away. And sometimes, right now, they're coming all the way down to here. And it's according to when the wind blows. And as I watch this, I see it change. It's very awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, back to playing. Hello, it's Nancy today. I'm sitting in my teepee. This is Sedge Meadow teepee. On the top of that dead tree is a great crested flycatcher. He goes, whee! And there are also, it's interesting, I've been sitting here playing my violin and there's um, all these birds that have come around. There's a pair of kingbirds, eastern kingmen, eastern kingbirds, and they usually stay where they nest. So I wonder if they have a nest in these bushes somewhere. They do like to have nests in alder bushes. Those are alders, those bushes out there, the whole thing. The stream is over there. And then there's a pair of um, chickadees that have been flying around. And also a pair of chipping sparrows. 
I just think this is so neat that I've got all these pairs of birds coming around. It has to do with the um, the sound of the violin, I believe. It's really nice. I'm not sure what that one is. It's not saying everything in pairs. It's saying lots of different stuff, but not in pairs. So it's not a... Forget which one does that. Sounds like a school bus. Well, look at that. It was. So it was. So it was. Well, I'm going to play again. You can watch the birds if you can see them. Might be a little loud. the birds doing? I guess it was hard to hear them, wasn't it? So today is dump day. I have some work to do up at the house. So black fly time. Bye bye. Good morning. It's Nancy today. Well, I was very tired yesterday and I went to bed at 3 30 in the afternoon to have a little nap. And I didn't get up until 7 30 or 8. 8 o'clock, I guess. Well, I think I stayed up for about an hour and then I went back to bed. Slept till 7 a.m. I think I really needed that sleep. I wore myself out doing all those bags of soil and then uh, building this garden in the in the, the hothouse in the teepee. It won't be getting that hot in there because I, I have doors I can open and windows that can be removed if it gets too hot. And get lots of sun because it's all windows. And it'll get lots of water because we've got these soaker hoses on it now. So it looks like it's going to be a great thing. I'm 
very pleased with what has been accomplished so far. Yes, indeed. So, um, what was I going to tell you now? Oh, I decided I would, I would go, um, a friend of my daughter's from back in high school was participating in a craft show today. And it came up on my Facebook this morning and I thought, I'm going to go. I'm going to go be a supportive friend of, mother of a friend. She's my friend too, I guess. Only, I'm very old. She's very young. So I went to support her and I got there and it's, there's a change in date, rain date. So I guess because it's a rainy day, it isn't going to happen today. Oh well. So what do I have to tell you? Well, I think I'm going to try and play my violin at the chapel tonight at a talent show. But it might not be a very good idea. Because I'm pretty bad at it. But I'm kind of good. I'm good at some things. Once I get into the flow of it, I'm pretty good. But by then, if I wait until I get into the flow of it to be, um, like, it takes a while to get into the flow of it. But if I'm in a talent show and I'm starting out cold, then I won't be into the flow of it till I'm done with my turn. So there must be a better way. go and practice first. Practice, 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 practice. And then I go in there and I'm already in the flow of it. Is that how it's done? Perhaps. Well, we need the rain. It's beautiful out there now that it's all greening up. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. I have a word to say concerning Mother's Day. I guess I'll say that in another video. Okay, see you later. Bye. Good morning. Well, it's 6.36 in the morning on a Monday morning. And I'm awake. Went to bed very early. Went to bed at 7, I think. We went out to eat yesterday with my family. My kiddos. And got back at 7, I guess. And I've been sleeping ever since. It's lovely to sleep a long time. And now it's time to perhaps get up. I'd like to get up and walk to the bridge and play my violin. But it's very cold outside today. I'm not sure what the temperature is. Hmm. But it's cold. I think we might have had just above freezing. Well, the 24th of May is the last frost here. So I'm just sitting, lying here watching the clouds. Watching the clouds roll by. Don't know if you could see it. Anyway, it's out there. But when I, walk, when I go down there to the bridge, I think I'm pretty close to the neighbor's house. And I'd hate for the playing my violin to bother the neighbors. Of course, close to the neighbors here is like city block. So, oh, the sky is going to turn red now. Um, the elm tree leaves are very tiny compared to the... Um, maple, which has come out very big. It's interesting to watch the leaves come out. To see them every day. And all through the day. It's taking them a while to come out. I think the 1st of May is when they start. And it's the 12th, the 13th. 13th of May? Hmm. <sighs> Ah, uh, look, sunshine on my head. Now, how do I get sunshine on my head? Oh, look, sunshine on my eye. 
I guess the sun is coming out. Look at that. You want to see it? I'll try and show it to you. I haven't seen the sunshine much lately. So, um, I like going in the morning and harvesting cedar bark and get that out of the way before the black flies show up. I don't think we're going to have black flies if it's too cold, so we might be okay, and it's very windy. They also don't like the wind. Today I need to plant my garden in the teepee. I'm going to plant green beans, climbing beans, all around the edge. Runner beans, scarlet runner, or just plain heritage <sighs> beans. And I've been soaking some beets for a while. But first I have to reach into my wet soil and turn it over because i got all this compost at the bottom instead of at the top or in the middle or whatever. I didn't... It's a lot of bending to do all this stuff. Bending is not helpful for my back. Mm. Sometimes I go down and I harvest the fiddleheads first thing in the morning before the bugs. But I think fiddlehead harvest is about over. There might be some more close to the north slope of the, the north-facing slope. Because that... Um, the snow went off that the last, so that is farther behind than the rest. So maybe I'll harvest fiddleheads and go harvest cedar bark and plant my garden in the teepee. I'm going to plant things close together <laughs> because things don't need um, a lot of room. If you're gonna, I don't think there'll be weeds because it's all new soil. I hope not, anyway. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I'll do a little videoing for you. So. I feel good that I had a lot of sleep, but when I lie in bed a long time, my back hurts. So it's better to get about four or five hours of sleep, and then my back feels good. But it was nice to sleep a long time. And I actually slept. Alright, well, shall I tell you anything else? Happy Mother's Day again. It's happy. It's a good thing to be a mother. And when your kids are past 20 or 21, they'll be happy that they have you. Or when they're, you know, under 8 or under 10, under 12. From 12 to 20, they're not really thrilled to have you as a parent. But they get over it. It's just a good thing, isn't it? All righty then. Thank you for all your Mother's Day wishes. Bye-bye. I have a thought about Facebook. Facebook is good. In many ways, it's very good. However, it, it decides who to show you stuff about. And I forget who's on my Facebook. And if it's only showing me a few people, and that's all I hear about, then that's not fair. So I have to, like on my iPod, I have to scroll it to the side, and then I have to click on favorites and go through my list of friends and click on the ones that I want to see the feeds for. 
realize I have 900 friends now on here. How is that possible? That's not, that's quite different from when I was young. Who would have thought? Nancy with low self-esteem. Anyway, now I don't have low self-esteem. I have Willem. Mm, I have God. Um, so, I was thinking... Anyway, Facebook. So, out of 900 people, I mean, obviously, I can't get to know 900 people. But I can get to know the people who comment. And quite a few of you comment. And so I've been going through the feeds, going through the list, and trying to add those people who comment, or who I've met, who I know personally. But... There's a lot of people, and so I have to do it by searching. So if I search with the first letter and then a vowel, so I can go S, S, A, and then I can go through all the S's. But you can't click on a whole lot of people at once. You have to click on one person. Then you have to click S, A, and click on one. S, A, click on one. So I'm trying to... I want to get to know you guys who get to know me but Facebook makes it a little bit difficult I discovered that right away the very first time I had Facebook and I friended a few people and I saw what they were doing once or twice and that's it and Facebook decided I wasn't going to be friends with them and then decided you know instead of just let you see everything and then you decide what you don't want to see control Anyway, so I would like to know more about some of you. If you want me to add you to my feed, comment. Because then I remember that you exist. Because with 900 people, people have friended me and then never commented. And I saw their name once and my memory is not that good. And since Facebook won't let me see them, you know how that goes. So, anyway, I have some of you on my friend, my f feed now. I like to lie in bed and look at my Facebook feed. But I can't really write much comments. I can comment with my iPod. But I'm really... iPad. No, my... My, um... A bird just went by. With my laptop. But the iPod is kind of difficult. I have an iPod Touch, which I really like. I don't have to pay for it over and over again, or by the month. I just paid once, and I have this little iPod, which is Wi-Fi friendly. And I can use it where I am, and it's perfect for me. It's not a phone. My phone is a little Verizon phone. This is my little phone. I can text you and I can receive texts. So my Facebook, my, um, so you could, hey, look at how cloudy it just got. Was that upside down? It should go like this. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. More rain, more rain, more rain. That's one thing about here. If you don't get your garden planted in May, early May, when it's nice and sunny and hot, 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 then the rain comes. It rains forever. And then you have to wait. But in my teepee, the world is different. Life is different in a teepee. I dreamed last night. You want to know what I dreamed? I dreamed that my teepee had a campfire in there and it caught fire to some wood in the ground because it was on muck soil and the muck is full of wood roots and all that stuff so it caught fire and it went down into the ground and so I had to call the fire department because I could see it was in the ground but I couldn't 
It wasn't big. It wasn't anything to worry about at all. But you know how fire is. One minute it's nothing. Next minute it's eating the world. So I um, called the fire department and they came and they put it out and they thought my teepee was so silly. Silly fire department. Of course, my teepee seemed to be in a house in my dream. Because to me, my teepee sort of is a room of my house. I like my teepees. They're good places. Oh, well, now look at it. All cloudy. Ooh. So, Willem helped me harvest nettles the other day, so I should do something with them. I could dry them, put them in jars, or I could freeze them and have it as a fresh vegetable, a frozen vegetable. But you know what? If I dry it and then I drop it into um, soups and things, it's just as good. I might as well dry it. Keeps all the nourishment of it. I still have nettles from last year. Oh, Rinty, well, I've run out of things to say. Imagine me running out of things to say. So, good morning to you. Keep smiling. I'll try and keep smiling, too. Bye-bye. Push the button, push the button, push the button. Good morning, it's Nancy today. Put a little shade over here. Well, I'm in Palmyra. In the, um, in the Palmyra wilderness. And I'm going to the temple today for the day. Today is Tuesday. I went yesterday for a little while. They're actually open on Monday. I left Canada in the morning at 7 o'clock and I got here in four hours, I think. Or something like that. Anyway, and um, so I attended the temple for about an hour before it closed at 12.30. And I've been um, kind of down, down in the dumps. And I, I stayed with my friend last night, Jean. She's very wonderful. And, um, and she pointed out to me that, you know, all this work I had done, no one, she said that if she does a day of hard work, it takes her about a week to recover. I used to work really hard until I was totally exhausted and then I would sit, you know, I would cut alders or something, then I would sit, but I don't do that anymore. I don't work that hard. But I, um, it's an interesting thought that working hard can lay you out for days. It's quarter after six in the morning. I hope to make the seven o'clock session. Wouldn't that be nice? The um, lilacs are in bloom here and the azaleas and the dogwood. It seems like they have the same weather that we have and yet I don't think we can grow those things where I am. Of course, we're up in zone four. So, to the temple today that I will be able to ponder things and understand my miserableness and I will be able to um, become joyful again. And if I can't get there in one day, I'll have to stay for a second day. But I intend to go and do all the sessions. Look, it's not open yet. So, I guess I'll be sitting here and reading my scriptures. <laughs> alas, alack. Okay, well, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. It's me, Nancy, today. I'm home. 
I've had a wonderful, uplifting week. I needed to do that. I needed to go to Palmyra to the temple. And then went to Toronto from there. Willem came down and met me. And we... Oops, God, yawn. Sorry. Mm. And we, um, we worked in the Toronto temple. We were, we were called as workers, set apart. So we are now workers there, first and third weekends in Toronto. And so we'll see you if you come to the temple. It'll be awesome. Friday night, Saturday, all day. Anyway, um, so I'm back home. It's so wonderful to hear from you. You know what happened. I I went to archive a YouTube vid a YouTube comment. And instead of clicking the archive button, I clicked the spam button. And it occurred to me at the st at the time and I thought, well, it probably won't go to spam because I use those all the time. And I never thought more about it because it had happened before and it had not gone to spam. I got a comment telling me why it wasn't going to spam. So I didn't think it would, and I forgot about it. And then when I was gone, I um, my only access to the internet, I stayed with a friend, and she doesn't have the internet or a phone. So I, um, I couldn't use the internet at her house, and I would leave the temple, and I would just go across the street to the stake center, and the church now has Wi-Fi in all the buildings. The password is the same all over the world. It was very interesting, very neat to go to Holland and have the same password for the same for the internet in the local building. Anyway, so I um, I went to sat outside of the stake center and I was able to upload my journal entries, but they wouldn't upload to YouTube to Live Journal. That was blocked, but Blogger was not blocked. So I was able to upload them there, but YouTube is blocked, and since all my mail was going to spam. I didn't think anybody was commenting on any of my videos, and I thought it was very strange that nobody was even commenting. As soon as I had stopped posting, nobody even commented anymore. I thought, that's too weird. Something's not right here. Maybe. So I went into the settings when I got home to see if my YouTube was even even setting right. Uh, if it was, if my videos were supposed to be coming to me. And um, that was all fine. And it wasn't until I went and checked my spam folder that I found 300 messages. Wow. That was wonderful. So I've been sitting here reading the messages. <sighs> and of course, I, I try to respond, too, because I like everybody, and I don't want people to write and not be responded to. That's no fun. And I want to get to know everybody. I don't know how I get to know everybody, but I can do difficult things. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. And I was able to Skype with my son. He was in China. He says he's coming back to Canada. There's a job offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> so, so he's coming back in a few weeks. And I talked to him, and I um, showed him some of the beautiful greenery outside. It's very green outside. Would you like to see? <sighs> mm, it looks very beautiful. Mm, so I'm going to try today. I want to go to to Mira and cut some more willow. It's being it's going to be dug up and thrown away. So I want to cut some more willow shoots and plant them down by the pond. And I also would like to put blueberries on those gravelly hills. I may have to go to the store and buy blueberries. I hope they're eight bucks. I'm not going to buy them if they're expensive, like twenty bucks or something. I'd like to buy buy a couple blueberry bushes and put down there. I'd also like to propagate some of my forsythia and plant the garden, which is in the teepee. Some of it is planted, but not up yet. The beans and um. I'd like to plant some zucchini squash in there. I don't really use tomatoes. Tomatoes give me arthritis pain, so I don't really need them. I still have tomatoes in the freezer that I haven't used. Anyway, um, 
So that's my update. It's it's a holiday Monday today. So Willem's home and Abraham's home. Neither of them are up. Well, Willem's gone to get the snow tires changed to summer tires. I think we're safe now. I don't think we'll have any more snowstorms. But you never know. I think we're pretty good, though. So the um, lilacs are starting to bloom. And the apple trees are way in bloom. There was one apple tree down by the pond. And it was just a stick. I found it. 15 years ago. It was just a little stick. And I put a, a white thing around the bottom of it so the mice couldn't eat it and the rabbits couldn't eat it and kill it. And um, and then when we when I would want to drive in that little driveway down to the pond, it was right in the middle of the road. So it could never go in, in anywhere. But when they um, cleared to build the pond, they I had them go around the other side of it. So now when we go in, we don't drive right to that. We go right around it. And then we park around. And it's completely covered with white blossoms. Isn't that amazing? It's a wild apple. It's just beautiful. Amazing. I could I could try and graft a little bit of a of a cultivated apple tree onto it. That might be an interesting idea. Hey now, kitty. Now Kitty has run out of his uh, anti-chicken food. He's allergic to chicken. He ran out of it, and so now he is shaving his legs again. Let's see? Hi, Now Kitty. Say hello to all your friends. Let's see? Shaving his legs. Never pet him under his neck because he'll he'll clamp down on you and give you puncture wounds. Never ever try and pet him under there either, or he'll really get you. You have to be careful with this kitty cat. So Willem hopefully will get some, some good, um, no chicken cat food so he'll stop shaving his legs. Eventually he'll shave his whole body that he can reach if you keep giving him chicken. Poor Mal. Poor little kitty. Alright, well there's my update. So I guess I'm going to go for a walk. And on the way I will take some clippings of the Persithia down and stick them in the ground at the pond. And I will, or around along the, lo along the road. And I will go over to Mira and cut some willow. Just stick that in, and um, and try and root some wisteria. Let's see if that'll work. I don't think it will, though. Okay, well, talk to you later. Bye bye.